According to uh, Housing First Minnesota, there's a statewide shortage of about 100,000 housing units. Now we know there's a shortage of affordable housing across the state. What do you feel is the state's role in addressing that issue? There's been a lot of discussion on housing for a number of years. But we've also, because of the policies that we put in place and the prices have been driven up so high that the, uh, the new uh, starter homes, are people are priced out of that market. Inflation has actually killed the housing market more than anything else. So what policies do we put in place? There is options, and I do believe that there are some, some rather creative options, starter homes. There are businesses right now that are taking uh, uh, small prefabbed homes and manufacturing them so they can be put up in a, in a record time. They're also cost effective. Now, when we talk about the housing shortage in our country, yes, but primarily in Minnesota, we've seen the shift in demographics where at one time greater Minnesota had more of a population than the metro. And now that, that, that has obviously changed and there's more in the metro. But we also see a whole uh, a movement, a whole group of people that would like to move out of the metro. I think those starter homes are an option that we can look at. Manufacturing, we can bring that back to our area by producing some of those same small starter homes. Get people, um, because ownership, home ownership, is vital. It builds a sense of community and it's, it's nothing is like owning your own home. It's the American dream, right? White picket fence, car in the driveway, a dog, it's the American dream. So when we can make that more affordable, I think we can gain in our state and in our country. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Mike Greg. Um, I want to bring, a, bring a, up uh, um, an important fact in uh, um, Eagle Bend, Minnesota, which is in our district. They have, uh, it's, uh, it's called Hilltop uh, Senior Apartments, and it's connected to their so-called Hilltop Meals, which is like Meals on Wheels, if anybody's ever, ever uh, informed about that. This is a shovel-ready project that should have had funding last time, but it did not. Um, it lost out by one point. It needs to get done. That unit is uh, it's, it's shovel ready and it's ready to go. Um, that will free up a lot of houses in our district. If that is complete, um, it'll give a give a chance for seniors to go if they choose a place to go other than their family farms or, or the high maintenance houses that they have. Um, and it's going to free up a lot of housing. And another project that we have going on right now in in Todd County is. Uh, in Long Prairie, there's a housing project for workers from the Long Prairie Packing Company. They want to build 64 units. That should be done also. That would be a big benefit to our local ec economy to have that many more workers coming into our district. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Any rebuttal, Mike? Sure. Well, some clarification. The Hilltop project actually was, the building itself was, uh, had received bonding money to be demolished. Through legislation, I actually got that changed so that the million four, I believe it was, that was going to be slated for demolition actually could, could be used for revitalizing that building. It was a shot in the arm. Now the numbers to get that project rolling have varied a little bit. Um, so until there's a final decision on what those numbers are, it's difficult to say which project is gonna be efficient, but that, without that legislation, that building itself would have been demolished. Um, the housing in Long Prairie, of course, that, that's already going through. That's uh, been voted on. It, it's, but there's a bigger issue here. It's not just a little town here and a little town there. Housing is a problem across the state. And you know, as a legislator, you don't just get to look at one small area and say we're going to solve every problem here or there. You have to look at the bigger picture, and that's statewide, ho statewide housing issues. Thank you.